You're looking at the golden egg of the idol industry. Mommy for short. Wait, that doesn't really shorten to that, does it? But whatever, that's her name. Way back when, Mommy worked with her twin sister Ami under one idol name. But ever since we went our separate ways, Mommy's been free as a bird. You know, word on the street seems to be how much of a hottie she's grown into and stuff ever since she started middle school. She's at that convenient age where everything is right for the plucking. And she's counting on you to turn her into a super sexy idol so she can catch up to Ami's head start and beat her popularity. Looking forward and all that. <clears throat> Interesting. You choose Futami Mami-kun, do you? You know, lately she seems to be taking it upon herself to present a sudden growth spurt of beauty and maturity. No kidding. I'm kind of looking forward to meeting her in that case. Well, there is a reason I said presenting. Personally, I would say it's up in the air whether she has yet matured on the inside to match. At any rate, I can promise you she won't be a bore. I believe she's gone out for a walk in the park near here. Head on over to greet her and commence your activities right away, please. <clears throat> yes, sir? So, this is the place, right? Now, where could my new idol be? Not many people here. I suppose I can ask those two kids over there if they've, if they've seen anybody else around. you think this kitty is a boy or a girl? Hold on. Ah, gotta organize my windows. Auto broken. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, I know this one. Um, <clears throat> you can tell a kitty's gender by flipping it over and looking between its legs. God, what are they doing to that poor cat? Kids these days are so precocious, I'm telling you. Being an adult isn't all it's cracked up to be, kids. What is up with Japan and torturing cats? <sighs> it's like a staple in every magical girl anime. Cut it out, you two! Don't you know you're being mean to the poor kitty? <laughs> That's her! She looks just like the photo from earlier. And it's encouraging to see her correcting children even younger than her like that. That's quite the presence of mind for her age. You have to be gentle with animals. If you pet it gently, it'll flip over on its back all by itself. Get it? Good. Good. Now you can look between its legs for massive damage while its guard is down. Yep, this one's a boy. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, let's see how this goes. Excuse me, young lady. You wouldn't happen to be Futami Mami-san, would you? Ah! Holy crap, Nii-chan! How'd you even know Mommy's name? Her full name, even! She's not even all that famous yet! You're not oh. that late, Antonio. We just got started. Oh, wait. I get it. You mistook her for Ami, didn't you? But then, why would you have still called her Mommy in that case? Calm down. I'll, I'll tell you how I know who you are. It's because 765 Production just hired me to be your new producer. My name's Hana Uta. Hey! Dang it, Nichan! Don't tell me the answer right away! You were supposed to let Mommy guess who you were! Wait, did you just say producer? As in my producer? Um, yes, that is what I said. Then, if you're a producer, that means that you're here to produce mommy and get produced by mommy, right? Well, what? yes, but yes, but wait, what? Uh, no, 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 no. I I'm here to manage you, yes, but uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go both ways. Finally 
over. At long last, Mommy can see the train at the end of the tunnel. Uh, hey, are you even listening to me? Also, the train at the end of the tunnel? Are you sure you don't mean... The light at the end of the tunnel, Mommy? Whoa! We picked up a pretty clever Nichon. Not only is he a producer, he can play the straight man, even! <laughs> yes, indeed, folks. The dawn of the long-awaited Mommy Zoic era is finally upon us! Well, the president wasn't, wasn't kidding when he promised she wouldn't be a bore. She's very... unique. I mean, all the girls at this agency are unique, but this one... If the others are all snowflakes, she's a dodecahedral hailstone with polka dots. I sure hope I can learn to work with her effectively. Anyway, we know who each other is now, right? So there you have it. I, uh, I'm looking forward to working with you. Let's do our best. That is not proper grammar. What? We know who each other are now. Each other is... Each each is sing each is singular. I don't grammar's weird like that. I mean, you you, you would if you wanted to describe a bunch of apples, you would say each one is unique, right? Each each one singular is each other singular is. There, I mean, there's there's only one other. Others is the plural, so. But you can't say each others. Mm. I, 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 I did think it. I, I didn't. I did think it through. Honest. Did I get it wrong? It just doesn't sound right to me. Hmm. I'll I'll have to look up, look that up. Looking forward to working with you. <laughs> yeah, mommy's gonna do her mega best to catch up with Ami and beat the living daylights out of her. Oh yeah, mommy is fired up. Her blood is on fire! Oh, all right. Yes, it's plain to see you're excited about this. But um, remind me who this Ami is again. Ami, that's mommy's twin sister. Up until a little while ago, we used to take turns working as an idol, as like the same idol. Right, right. So, you both alternated working under a single idol name. That sounds like it would have taken a lot of coordination. You must be pretty close with your twin, huh? I guess, but some stuff happened, and then some other stuff happened, and now we're working as separate idols. Um, what exactly do you mean by some stuff? Eh, it doesn't matter. All you need to know is that this is a real important battle for Mommy, alright? She can't afford to lose. Huh. I wonder what happened between her and her twin to make them go their separate ways. Whatever it was, it... Sounds like it must have been pretty serious. Well, I may not have any idea right now, but who knows but that the answer will re reveal itself. <laughs> reveal itself as she and I work together on our way to the top of the idol industry. <sighs> We're back. Uh, we made it through our first day somehow. Neat, Sean! Good working with you today. Good working with you too, Mommy. So, so, how'd Mommy do? Is she gonna turn into a super popular, super sexy idol now that we're together? That all depends on how much effort we put into it from here on out. We only just started today, after all. Oh, okay then. Guess it's not any as easy as turning from an elementary school student into a middle school student, huh, Nichon? Incidentally, there's something I've been wanting to ask for a while now, Mommy. Why do you still insist on calling me Nichan? Can't you do something about that? Nah! You're asking that now? I've missed every, every other chance I had to bring it up today, but come on, there are plenty of more appropriate ways you could address me than Big Bro. Like, my last name, or just producer? You are Nichon. I can't look at you and not think Nichon, you know. Uh huh. And I can't hear that and not think undignified. Well, I can't call you Little Bro instead. It would 
It would make sense since you're the superior. Yes, I'm aware of that, of course, but do, do you do you have to be calling me bro at all? So you want a more dignified name, right? How about I just call you Pop then? Don't give me that. I am not old enough to be a middle schooler's dad. Oh my god, you're so picky, Nichon. If you don't like anything else, then Nichon it is, and that's that. <sighs> Well, as long as you're incapable of thinking outside the family box, I suppose I'll resign myself to Nichon. Before you saddle me with anything weirder. Woohoo! See you next week then, Nichon! Good nighty, alrighty? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it's been a little while since we had a day off. I suppose I should take the extra time to relax. Protagonist. Wait, that's someone else. That's Persona 4. Hmm? Hey, wait, isn't that Mommy? I thought she would have been home by now. Oh, Nichon! You finally left work, I see. Good work, soldier. Don't you finally left work, me? What do you think you're doing out here so late all by yourself, young lady? Waiting for you, of course. Got something to talk about with you. Oh? Did you want to have a discussion about our activities coming up, just between the two of us or something? Is that me or is that the video? What? It's doing the weird glitchy thing again. Mm, hold on. It's not the video. Was the line? Where did am I you, at? Did you want to have a discussion about our activities coming up just between the two of us or something? Nope. Hey, Nichon. Could you do mommy a favor and close your eyes? What? Close my eyes? What the hell is she up to? What? L like this? Hmm. Aw, don't tell me you're getting nervous, Nichon. Hey! Don't make fun of your elders! You asked me a favor and I agreed to it, but but if that's all you wanted to do, then forget it! Wow! Ah, wait, wait! No! Stop! You can't open your eyes yet! Well... Huh? Well... Well what? Ah, 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 ah. Don't open your eyes, I said! That's two strikes, Nichon. Now keep your eyes closed until Mommy says it's okay or you'll lose the ball game. I don't particularly care if I lose, but evidently this is pretty important to her. I suppose I'll just play along with her for now and see where she's going with this. So, how about it, Nichon? Can't you just feel the sexy vibes pouring off of Mommy even with your eyes closed? Sexy vibes? Uh, I'm sorry, what are we talking about, please? You know, the invisible signals or whatever that make everybody fall in love with her? I think they were called Pyrmionies or something? P oh, are you trying to say pheromones? Right, right, those guys. Can you feel them? Here, like this. Uh, whoosh. Swish, sparkle, sparkle. I can't feel anything. Well, that's weird. It should have worked. Luca Chin usually gives it out good info. Hmm. Luca Chin? That a friend of hers at school? <sighs> Why does this girl seem to only want to commit the least helpful information possible to memory? Broducer. I'm pretty sure I've called him that before. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Yayoi's route or something. So, is that the only reason you kept waiting around for me so late? To ask me that? I really wanted to ask, though! 
It was like maybe the fact that you'd chosen mommy was proof that she'd finally learned to generate sexy vibes, you know? That I had chosen you? Uh, are you talking about me having chosen you as the leader? Yep, yep. That's the only possible explanation. Mommy's so saturated with Theros and mo with Theros and mo <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's really hard to keep a straight face with this character. <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> Mommy's so saturated with Pharaohs and Moans, she's just swept you off your feet, didn't she? Oh my god. There seems to be a misunderstanding between her and me that I need to clear up. Especially considering the way she suggested that's the only possible explanation. Either she lacks confidence in her abilities as a leader, or she doesn't know what a leader really is to begin with. No, Mommy. There is a better reason why I chose you, and it was... Process of elimination. <laughs> you were the only idol left that I hadn't done. Does it really say that? Yes. Oh, n n no, n n that's not the full line. I don't know the full line, but that is that is an actual option. Oh, I, I was saying, is that what the option actually says? Yes. It was because I could feel the potential within you. You're a very free-spirited girl, Mommy. That's one of the best things about you. You don't let anything chain down your way of thinking, which in our society takes a lot of guts, but that same free spirit also makes it a lot harder for other people to know how to deal with you. Uh, Nichan, that isn't exactly meant to be a compliment, is it? I very much meant it as a compliment. Where other people might have only seen impetuous in you, I saw courage and creativity. And what I wanted was to see how it would change you if I gave you a focus for that free energy. A focus like, say, the responsibility of leading our unit. Huh. Okay. Don't know if I really get all what she just said, but I do get that you have high expectations of mommy, Nucha. I do. What I want... <clears throat> I do. What I want you to understand is that there is a reason why I chose you to become the leader but also that choosing you is the only thing I've done so far. It does not mean that you've finished developing into a fully qualified leader just yet. There's still work to be done on that front. What? So, being chosen as a leader isn't the same as becoming a leader? Is that supposed to be some kind of zen riddle or something? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't intend for that to come across as obtuse. What I'm trying to say is... It, it's not enough to just have the title. A leader is someone who leads. It's an action you have to carry out in order to earn the respect of those whom you lead. And you can do that by standing strong against the challenges of the idol industry and overcoming them together with your friends. The more you can do that, the more they'll look up to you. And that will be the day that you've truly become their leader. I still don't get it. It's too hard. How about this? The fact that I chose you doesn't prove anything yet. It's up to you to prove you're a leader from now on, through your actions. All I've done is given you a chance to do just that. Okay. No, that that's still, sorry, still confused. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? So basically, whether or not Mommy can learn to generate pheromones depends on what she does from now on, right? And it looks like you still don't understand. This is really hard! Mommy was so excited about being the leader, but apparently just that isn't enough to automatically make her more popular. It's... I've been listening to show tunes all day. It's highly doubtful whether any of what I said got through to her. I'm trying to have a freaking moment here. But I suppose it's understandable that she might not that 
she might not have the presence of mind to fully grasp it at her age. Not from words alone, at least. All I can do is trust that one day she'll be able to learn from experience what it really means to be a leader. It all depends on what happens now. The only thing that concerns me a little is her unusual fixation on pheromones, or whether or not she's become more popular or sexy. What exactly is going through her mind? Well done, you two. You routed us fair and square that time. On behalf of Ryugu Komachi, I fully accept defeat. But don't go thinking this is over just yet. I'm not about to hand over that Grand Prix to anyone, least of all you, producer. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I wouldn't assume you've seen the last of what we're capable of, e of either if I were you. Isn't that right, Mommy? That's right, Nichan! Team Mommy's popularity is filling out almost as fast as this body of mine! Watch out! <laughs> Oh, well, aren't you pleased with yourself? Oh, mommy, you're so much. No, that's a, sorry, that's a stage direction. Oh, oh. Any, I anything, that was anything, thoughts. anything, and so, uh, only the producer has inner thoughts in in the in this game. Whenever I put something in parentheses, it's a stage direction. Okay. For for the girls. Okay. What are we then? Chopped liver to you now? <laughs> hmm. This time it's you girls' turn to try and catch up with us! Oh, we won't just try. We'll be back in the lead before you know it. Be that as it may, though, I have to say I'm a little surprised that you could come so far as to turn the tables on us in just ten or so weeks. I'm honestly not sure how you pulled it off. Perhaps we can tentatively chalk this one up to a victory for teamwork for the time being. You better believe it! Team Mommy has learned to harness the awesome power of the friendship element! As long as we have that, not even the Grand Prix achievement is beyond us. Wow, is that your take on it? You know, the, what would really help is if Iori Ami and Azusa-san could hear you talk about it like that, too. Oh, I know. Why don't you call up some Nyuga Komachi members to perform as guests at one of your shows next time? Sometime. What? Perform together with Ami? Experiencing the magic for themselves from right in the thick of it would be far more helpful than any old lecture, I'm sure. Come on, what do you say, producer? <laughs> well, of course, if the girls, if you girls are all right with it, I wouldn't mind asking that of you myself, actually. Our fans would love it, especially after today. Yep, yep, the more people you have together, the more friendship power you get. At this rate, we're gonna score so many mega points, we'll explode the whole stage! <laughs> the hell is friendship power? Ants can scurry around in a swarm all they like, but they're still just ants. Excuse you? I'd ask if you have any earthly idea how rude that was, but the fact that it even left your lips speaks volumes. Fuck, she heard me. And one of those obnoxious four-eye types, no less. Today is not my day. Dude, what the hell is your problem? Is every other word out of your mouth supposed to be an insult? Wouldn't surprise me. I remember this prick. He was no less unpleasant when we crossed paths with him in that one TV studio. Don't get your panties in a bunch, lady. You were the ones telling each other fucking hilarious jokes. Why bother providing the entertainment if you were going to complain about people laughing at it? We are not here for your entertainment. I'd love to know what you heard that qualifies as fucking hilarious to you. God, do you have to flip your shit at every little goddamn thing? So sorry if I'm offending you, but I, for one, can't stand the way people apparently prefer to lie to each other than risk hurting their feelings. What I was talking about was your whole conversation just now. What was it? Something about being able to win the Idol Academy Grand Prix with the power of friendship or something? Obviously, there's no other way to describe that than as a fucking hilarious joke. Everyone knows the only power you get from working in a team is the sheer numerical advantage of concentrating that much talent in one place. You're deluding yourself if you think you're going to get some kind of extra bonus out of it just because you're all friends or whatever. Is this guy supposed to be an Idol 2 or something? That seems likely to be the case, considering how he knew exactly what we meant when we said Grand Prix. 
The stuff coming out of his mouth is nauseating, but his confidence and eloquence alone might be enough to persuade some people. He's clearly a pretty practiced speaker, almost as though he's rehearsed this very argument, in fact. All that matters in the end is whether that talent is there or not. That's the only way you can win competitions. One team has more talent, one team has less. End of story. Though, if you'd prefer to be a baby and keep your so-called friends around to lick each other's wounds like a pack of mewling puppies after you inevitably lose, I suppose that's your prerogative. <laughs> Dunno what the hell about 765 has boss so concerned that he's willing to stoop to every trick in the book. I could wipe the floor with these pansy asses in my sleep. God damn it, that does it! I've heard just about enough out of you! You... Wait! Um, so, I don't know if I really get all of what this guy's trying to say, but I do get that he's afraid of our friendship power. Isn't that right, Mr. Big Boy Pants? What? Obviously that's not true! I didn't say anything even your tiny earmuffed ears could have misheard badly enough to give me that insane idea! But you're saying friendship power doesn't exist to you, right? Which is kind of sad in the first place, honestly. But then, wouldn't it be safe for you to just leave us alone and be on your way? If it really wasn't a threat to you, why would you bother coming all the way over here to lash out at us like your life depended on it? Fuck you! My life doesn't depend on anything! Hey, that was uncalled for. Are you really going to start cussing out a girl so much younger than you? Just when I, th just when I thought you couldn't get any lower. Damned imbeciles. Fine then, go ahead and see just how far your precious friendship power will take you. I'll gladly stand back and watch it fail you miserably. There's something I'm starting to wonder, mister. All this time you've been trying to tell us how to do our jobs like you know so much better than us even though we have no idea who you are or where you're from. If you'd care to tell us, maybe we'd be slightly more inclined to take your opinions into consideration. <laughs> nice try, but inferior beings don't deserve the luxury of finding out just how wrong they are before it's already too late. Won't be much longer now, anyway. What? What is that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. What does it sound like to you? Later! God damn that asshole! He really thinks I can't find out who he is and what agency he's from. See if he's still wearing that smug grin when I drop a million official complaints on their doorstep. Truly a despicable human being. It'd be better for us not to pay him any mind, Mommy. Me, John. I promise you Teen Mommy isn't about to lose to some... something like that! <sighs> I guess Mommy's just as angry at him as the rest of us. She did a really good job dismissing him out of hand in that case. But still, there is something intimidating about him, and it's not just his attitude. You don't get to be that self-righteous without learning a thing or two from experience. However miserable of an experience it must have been. Well, it doesn't matter right now, at any rate. Don't you think we ought to start heading back? I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Let's Hello? Hi. Hi. Yes, I've learned to curse. You have Kage to thank for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I corrupt everybody. All right. Well, today was, by and large, a good day. The girls must be feeling pretty good about themselves after finally trouncing Dugu Komachi. I'd like to get them some prime work while they're still riding that emotional high. Mm hey, is that Mommy over there? Again? Hi, Nita. Did you wait long? Uh, huh? What do you mean, did I wait long? Weren't you the one waiting for me? Oh, 
Right. I messed up. Um, no, it's okay. Mommy only just got here herself, actually. I have no idea what she's trying to communicate to me right now, but whatever. So, what exactly are you doing out here anyway? Hey! You don't have to say it so mean. Don't you know how many other guys out there would kill for a chance to have Mommy play date with them like this? Jeez, you don't even have a sl silver of emotions in your shivered up old heart. Do you need, John? What is a silver of emotions? Are, are you trying to tell me I don't have a sliver of emotions in my shriveled up old heart, Mommy? Meh, tomato, tomato. Point is, Mommy's been waiting here because she had something important to tell her niche on. That's one thing about Mommy's character consistently. She always gets metaphors and turns of phrase and figures of speech wrong. Mm -hmm. Something important. What could that be? Is it about the festival today? Very good, Nichan. You always know exactly what's on Mommy's mind, don't you? I'm sure she must have a lot she wants to talk about. Beating Ami was the one thing more important to her than anything when we started out. And today we finally pulled it off. So here's the deal. What Mommy wants to say is a great big thank you to her Nichan for helping us finally beat Ryugu Komachi today. Well, you didn't need to wait all the way out here by yourself so late just to say that to me. I do appreciate your sincerity, Mommy, but you need to take better care of yourself. But, 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 it's thanks to you that Mommy's in the lead now. The great Ami Mommy Boyfriend Challenge is finally turning into a head. What? What? Oh god, what are you making me decipher this time? Perhaps you were trying to say it's coming to a head? Actually, never mind, that's far from the most important issue here. What on earth is this boyfriend challenge you're having with Ami? So... Now that we're in middle school, right? Well, a lot of our friends have started finding boyfriends all of a sudden, and so they started talking about that kind of stuff a lot, and one thing that came up is the question of, like, who's more popular? Who's gone out with more guys? Mommy or Ami? And things like that. Oh god, girl gossip. I have a bad feeling I'm not going to like where this is going, but I suppose I'll just bear with it and listen for now. So we told them both Ami and Mommy have never had a boyfriend, and then everybody started looking at us like we had three heads! And after a little bit, one of the gals piped up, But you're both idols! How could neither of you have had a boyfriend? I guess no one wants to hit on you because you two are always together. And that's when it hit us! We decided right then and there, in order to make ourselves feel more approachable to the boys, Mommy and Ami had to spend as much time apart from each other as possible. Uh, I don't know how that came out sounding like Ash fucking Ketchup. <laughs> what kind of friends do you hang out with, Mommy? <laughs> I don't know how that ended up sounding like Ash fucking Ketchup, but okay. Uh, huh? But you're still just talking about school, right? You're not about to tell me that was also the impetus for splitting up your idol activities, are you? Ooh, impetus! I like that word. Yep, yep, it was totally the impiest impetus. <laughs> you know, as much as I hate Mommy, I love writing for her. <laughs> We had to split up and see who could become more popular and win the boyfriend challenge. This isn't YouTube, Mommy. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth comes to light. When we met, she balked at divulging the reason she and her twins split off from each other, but I was really hoping it had been something more respectable, like as an exercise in independence, or to challenge herself to go as far as she could, uh, as far as she could go on her own. Instead, the real reason ended up being just about the most ridiculous one imaginable. <laughs> Fuck me. But now that we've finally scored a victory against Ami's unit, Mommy's popularity level will be sky high starting tomorrow. She's gonna have guys coming up to ask her out left and right, and that'll be it. Right, Nisan? Oh 
my god, this is not an appropriate topic of discussion for us, Mommy. Your social life outside the agency has literally nothing to do with your career. <sighs> Should I just indulge her for now? But idols aren't allowed to date in the first place! <laughs> yeah, strangely, that never really comes up. Not in the best di not in the best sequence of dialogue options, anyway. No. I don't think you can relax just yet, Mommy. What? What do you mean she can't relax just yet? It's true your popularity level will have risen after today, but I don't think it's safe to assume it'll automatically make it easier for you to find a boyfriend. Remember what we discussed the other week? These things don't happen automatically. I mean... It's not, incon it's not inconceivable that the boy's opinions of you could plummet back down if you get complacent and start slacking off on maintaining your appearance or whatever, you know? I see, I see. Didn't think of that. Good thing we can always count on our Nijan to be the more mature... The more mature adult. God damn it, I can't read. Good thing we can always count on our Nijan to be the mature adult in these situations. Well, for a given value of mature... I think the issue that we should be focusing on got left by the wayside at some point, namely de the development of your idle career, but I'm not going to complain about that. Ev everyone has their own things they want out of life, it's not my place to find fault with you for it. I just have one piece of advice that I want you to remember for me, Mommy. Okay, what? Always keep your guard up, and always strive to do better. Getting too caught up in being pleased with yourself over a single day's victory is a fantastic way to get the rug pulled out from under you. It's not over until it's well and truly over. Wait until the prize is physically in your hands. Then and only then will it no longer be too early to celebrate. Do you understand? Yep. It's too early for Mommy's victory pose because the boss has another form. No worries, Nichon. I gets it. See you later then! <sighs> hard for me to tell if she really understood or not from the way she just said her piece and took off without a care in the world. Then again, this is the girl who's apparently been competing with Yugu all this time for no other reason than... that. Ah, <sighs> my brain hurts. I need to go home and pass out already. What is with Skype today? Everything okay? It was it was glitching, but now everything's black. Well, as far as uh, as far as boyfriends not typically being allowed, I'm just going to say that in Hana's mind, mommy getting a boyfriend and having to leave the agency would actually be a blessing in disguise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. Never mind, that doesn't really work with what happens later. I have Carrot. Hello, Carrot. So what? After this year's Grand Prix is awarded, that's it? I have to leave the girls behind? Need son! Ah! Kumi? <laughs> Does it really say Gumi? I think it says, like, Kumi, but it was close enough. <laughs> Yay, Vocaloid references. Ami? Is that you? Hey! Nice work, Nichan. You can tell Ami and Mommy apart at a single glance, can't ya? Well, there's your hair and your coat colors and... Yeah, well, no, that's not important right now. I'd like to know what the both of you are doing out here. I thought you had gone home already, Mommy. Let's play the which one is he could be. What? No, she was waiting here to ambush you, of course. Yes, you seem to have made a habit of that this year. What do you want this time? Nichon! Your favorite Ami needs you to console her! Ah! Ah! Nichon! Hey! Hey! Back off, Ami! Don't go stealing mommy's Nichon! Aw, it's fine, 
just for one night, isn't it? Team Mommy's the one that got the nomination after all. Cut Mommy a break already! That's not what we're here for, though. We're supposed to be making peace with each other in front of Nichon. It's against the rules to change the plan on your own. Uh, uh, um, did you say making peace with each other? Right. Because right now, at this very moment, the great Ami Mami Boyfriend Challenge has finally reached its dramatic conclusion! Ah, uh, yes. The Boyfriend Challenge. I remember you telling me about that. You said you were competing with each other to see who could become more popular with the boys at school. Yep! So, wait! If the challenge is over now, then does that mean that one of them actually managed to get a boyfriend? And by all accounts, judging from their expressions right now, the winner is probably none other than Mommy, which means... Uh, I, I, um, I do respect your feelings, Mommy, and I'd like to say I'm happy for you, but do you think you could please take a little more time to think it over before you commit to this? We're coming up on a critical juncture here, with our unit's nomination and everything. You understand, don't you? This, th this isn't the best time to be making any hasty decisions, lest any... Unforeseen events occur that make everyone's hard work and dedication go to waste. Uh, what you talking about, me, John? What? I, I mean, if the challenge is over, that means you got a boyfriend, right? No, of course not! You're jumping to conclusions, me, John. But hey, it's good to know that when that time does come and we don't have any, have any critical junk tours coming up, you'll be happy enough to give me your blessing. Well, we talked, we talked straight past each other on that one. Ami and Mommy decided it was just plain boring to keep fighting and beating each other back and forth to figure out who was more popular, so we came up with an instant win condition. We decided that whoever got nominated for the idol... Academy Grand Prix would be the winner of the Boyfriend Challenge, whether it was one, both, or neither of us. That's not weird, is it? I mean, because if you can get nominated for the Grand Prix, of course it means you must be pretty popular, right? I get it now. The challenge is over because the nominations have been decided. Honestly, I had been content to put it out of my mind completely. A little boob-measuring contest of theirs. But I guess I should be thankful it got taken care of before it became too much trouble to ignore. This isn't over yet. SERIOUSLY! Mommy claims to have won, but was it in fact too early to declare a victor? The true ending to the great Ami Mommy Boyfriend Challenge is coming soon! On our next episode, shiver with anticipation! What? Hey! What the heck was with that preview trailer just now? Hey, Ami, wait up! Should I be concerned about Ami's attempt at a profound declaration just now? Or is it safe to put that out of my mind, too? <sighs> Looks like they're going to be keeping it up a little longer, at any rate. What have we even been doing all year? It's way too late in the game for her to be keeping up this level of immaturity. I'm worried for their futures at this rate. Will there ever come a day when I can comfortably study abroad, secure in the knowledge that leaving them to their own devices won't break Japan? <sighs> Find out in the next episode, I guess. And with that, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, say goodbye to any further character development for Mommy. <laughs> They can't have the twins mature. Then our staple anime nerd video game nerd characters would be gone. <laughs> That's why they do that. Because the fans would riot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, some peace and quiet. God damn it, everyone on this ship just will not stop talking about Jupiter. So Kuroi isn't just talk. I can see now why he thinks he's 
so much better than everyone else. Just because he has the sheer resources to scout the most ridiculously OP idols in existence and turn the nomination ceremony into his own private victory party. What can someone like me even do to fight back against that? Hello, Earth Nichon! Hmm? Hi! You look like you're thinking pretty hard about some. Mm, did the sight of your idols on stage get you fantasizing about them again? <laughs> no! Of course not! How, how could you even joke that I'd be wasting time thinking about that at a time like this? Do you have any idea how serious of a situation we're in? Believe me, I can only wish I had that kind of time to waste right now. I mean, not necessarily on that specifically. Oh, and I guess you must have been thinking about 961. Yeah, they had some pretty sweet moves, didn't they, those Jupiter guys? Oh, so you do get it. Well, I guess those guys must have been on your mind too, huh? But, 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 Team Mommy can still beat them in the end. I'm sure of it. I mean, sure they're kind of beating us for now. Just a little, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah! Just a little, maybe. <laughs> Such an irresponsible remark cannot be allowed to pass uncorrected. By all accounts, it would appear that your leader is incapable of recognizing the severely limited extent of her own unit's power. Are you not ashamed of yourself? The only shame I feel is in having to carry a conversation with you, Kuroi. I implore you, my rambunctious little nitwit. Compose yourself and think about it rationally for a single second. Surely that would be enough for you to realize that a unit which can only barely handle Toma alone, battle Toma alone to a standstill has no hope of subduing the all-powerful Jupiter. Yes, I can see the grim realization dawning in your eyes as her expression doesn't change at all. <laughs> Very well then, in my infinite magnanimosity, I will graciously grant you an opportunity to decline your nomination now while you can. For who in their right minds would actively seek to present to the world the humiliating display of a crushing defeat at my hands? <clears throat> You can stuff your magma velocity opportunities. Team Mommy doesn't back down, and neither does our Nichon. And I'll say it as many times as you want. We'll never lose to things like you. Well, well. I see your competitiveness, at least, is well developed, if absolutely nothing else. Not that it particularly bothers me one way or the other. If anything, the sight of your broken and defeated form prostrated before me may provide a few extra seconds of my amusement before the year draws to a close. <laughs> ha! And with that, adieu! Not one to keep his comments to himself, is he? What a piece of work. Whatever his merits as a company president may be, as a human being, he's another train wreck. A train wreck into a burning dumpster. Uh, why didn't you say anything back to him, Nichon? You don't think Team Mommy can actually beat him either, do ya? No, that's not the reason I kept quiet, Mommy. It's fine to just let the results speak for themselves. We don't need to beat Kuroi in a stupid argument. All we need to do is win the Grand Prix in the end. Or would you prefer me to be the lazy type of producer who wastes my time sh who wastes my time shouting down my opponents because I don't already spend day in and day out working, playing, and talking with my own idols? Oh, now I get it. Wow, that Kunoi guy must be really lazy. Here's what I want you to do, Mommy. Whatever frustration you felt from having to listen to him. Lock it all away inside you, wind it up, and then, use it as a, and then use it as a springboard to keep up the good work all the way to the Grand Prix. That's how we're going to win, and neither Kuroi nor Jupiter will be able to say anything in response to that. Ooh, yes, sir! So that's what results speaking for themselves means. That's so majorly cool, Nichon. 
then of course we girlies are going to keep up the good work. But you better be springing right there with us too, you know. As long as our Nishan is always with us forever and ever, Team Mommy has nothing to fear. Only it's not going to be forever. But she doesn't know that yet. I really need to stop keeping quiet about this and tell her. It's now or ne- Well, either it's now or it's going to be an even bigger problem later. Time to face the music and break the news about my Hollywood trip. Nichon? Aren't you gonna agree or something? You're starting to make Mommy nervous standing in there all quiet like that. Actually, Mommy, there's something else I've been meaning to talk with you girls about, ever since we got our nomination. I'd rather not do it here, though. Would you go gather the other girls and meet me off the ship, please? Okay, but what's going on? Ooh, maybe you got a surprise for us! In a matter of speaking... Um... Nichon? Where are the Hollywoods, exactly? Is it someplace you can get to by train? It's in the United States, Mommy. You've heard of Hollywood blockbusters, haven't you? Hollywood is one of the premier entertainment capitals of the world. It's really among the most ideal venues for studying my trade. And us girlies can't go with you? I mean, we could take the opportunity to debut in America while we're at it. Oh yeah, Yayoi is in this. Hi, Yayoi. She's... I think she might actually be home. <laughs> can I we might go... Steal her for the, can we steal her for the airport scene? I can go grab her when we meet for the airport scene. Alright, see if we can. But would you really want to do that in a band... But would you really want to do that and abandon all your fans here in Japan? Just think about it. After you win the Grand Prix, you'll have more fans than you know what to do with. And they'll all love you even more than they do now. Is a new career in America something you really want for yourself? Badly enough to give up your career at home and leave all of those adoring fans behind? If the answer is no, and you just wanted to go there for the hell of it, then I'd urge you to reconsider. Because... That honestly isn't fair to them at all. Yeah, I... I know that, but... I know this will be hard for you, Mommy. For all of us. But I can't afford to lose. I... I can't afford to lose... to myself. I can't just stay safe inside my box here forever. If I don't go out into the world, expand my horizons, and test what my limits are, then I'll never be able to break them and expand them. Of course, the world's a pretty big place, and I don't anticipate being equipped to do much more than get knocked flat on my butt and tossed back into my box at this point. But until then, I want to believe there's a better me out there somewhere, and I want to find him, bring him back here, and put him to work for the agency and for the idols that I love. You're getting all abstract again, Nichon. Mommy doesn't know if she gets all of it, but she does get how serious you were about doing this. Alright, go on and have fun in the Hollywoods, Nichon. You have Mommy's permission. She wants to see what your new powered-up form looks like after you gain all that EXP, too. And at least we still get to be with you till the Grand Prix! <sighs> Thank God. Looks like I did a good enough job of getting my feelings across to Mommy. We think. <sighs> so tired. But we have to keep this pace up. Even if it doesn't feel like it, the Grand Final will be here before any of us expects it. We can't afford to waste even a single second. Nichon! We got an emergency! Ah! What the hell, Mommy? Don't jump out from out of nowhere and scare me like that! What's got you all panicky at this hour? Weren't you supposed to have gone home a long time ago? Again? How do you expect Mommy to just go home at a time like this? She got a phone call from Mommy and... Mommy just... She got... Ah! Uh, all right, all right. Please, please, calm down already and just tell me what happened. 
I really don't like the sound of this. Did something terrible happen to Ami? They may be competing now, but I know how close those two are deep down. Ami is practically Mommy's other half. I can't imagine how Mommy would feel if anything happened to her. But if something did... I can be Ami's replacement. <laughs> <laughs> no, side M! <laughs> Mommy, please, if there's anything at all I can do to help, I'll do it. I promise! So, would you please be willing to calm down and talk this out with me? Me, John. Thank you. Mommy really needed you to say that, because you're the only one she can come to with this. Alright. So what kind of accident has Ami gotten into? What? What accident? Huh? Weren't you freaking out because something bad happened to Ami? Well, something did. Right! So, what was it, please? Um, so, you see, the truth is that Ami just... She went and got herself a boyfriend! Ah! Mommy's whole world has come crashing down around her! And that was the extent of your great big emergency? What do you mean that was the extent? This is way more worse than Mommy just losing all her HP! If Mommy's got a boyfriend, it's an instant game over! Mommy lost the boyfriend challenge! Come to think of it, Mommy was going on about the true ending to the boyfriend challenge coming soon or something. I guess this development must have been in the works at the time? It doesn't even make sense! Mommy's the one who missed the nomination and she was totally miserable about it! <laughs> doesn't even make sense! Mommy's the one who missed the nomination, and she was totally miserable about it for weeks, too! How is she the one to get that oh my god hot senpai to ask her out? Ah, it isn't fair, Nichon! Mommy was supposed to be the one to get super mega popular after getting the nomination! That's what she's been working so hard for all this time! Words can't express how shocked and saddened Mommy is at this turn of events! So there needs to be a new word for it. Mommy is seductive. She's the most seductive. Damn it! Seductive. <laughs> She's the most seductive girl in the on the face of the planet. Okay. Why does, mom, why does voicing mommy make my head like really make me really really lightheaded? <laughs> because you have to be so up up here and the whole and the. Uh, Get these really long lines out in one breath? <laughs> okay, okay, I think your vocabulary has gone off the rails at this point. But yes, I understand that this is a difficult blow for you to deal with, Mommy. Yeah, see, you never had a girlfriend, Nichon? Because you're crazy good at keeping your composure around crying girls. Mommy just... She doesn't know what she's supposed to do or think anymore! What was she even doing? <sighs> Not what she was supposed to, that's for sure. She was so focused on her boyfriend challenge, now that she's lost it, the Grand Prix is not even coming to her mind. And the Grand Final is practically on our doorstep, even! So this is where it comes to a head. I need to choose my next words very carefully. I should choose my next words carefully. <laughs> Mommy, you have to remember, you still have a lot of people to whom you're special too. A lot more people than Ami, I dare say. Really? Absolutely! Ami may have the boyfriend, but don't forget, you're the one the fans are rooting for to win the Grand Prix. You're a brilliant beacon in their everyday lives, and they all want to see you succeed. Because no one can look at you and not feel how lovable you are anymore. You really think so? <laughs> Thank you, Nijan. Mommy thinks she feels a little bit better about herself now. I meant it when I said she's brilliant. It's that smile of hers. That innocent, I'm enjoying my life my way smile. That's what everyone loves to see from her. And it's my job to make sure it doesn't get dampened by silly things like this. But if she's so special, 
Then why hasn't anybody come to confess their love to Mommy? Guess I still need to come up with some kind of better strategy to get a leg up on Ami. Hmm? What is she mumbling to herself about now? Is she still not satisfied? Hey, hey, um, Mommy, is there still something else that's bothering you? I if you'd like to talk about it, please, I'll gladly listen. Y you don't need to hold yourself back on my account. Yeah, it's simple. In order to beat Ami, Mommy just needs to pull off something even more unbelievable. Something totally insane. Something totally insane? Mommy, what are you even talking about? Hey! Mommy! Where are you going? But she didn't even look back at me. She just silently marched off to go home with that deadly serious look on her face. I guess it's a good thing she came to terms with the issue for herself. But I'm still worried. What's going to happen now? I can't get it out of my head, the way she said she wanted to pull off something insane. I have a bad feeling about this. Will this back and forth between them never end? Is there no way for me to convince her to just grow up already? So, next week is the Fireball Festival. All of the participants will be Grand Prix nominees, of course, so it's not like any other opponent we could go up against would be any less difficult, but... Prob problem is, it's us versus Jupiter. And I'm sure, even as we speak, Kuroi is busy, busy threatening to force choke his boy band if they don't take us down. We can't afford to let them. We can't afford to not let them get force choked. <laughs> All right. All right, guess I'll go home and start formulating a strategy for next week. Well, considering how that ends, poor Kuroi. <laughs> poor Kuroi. It's so funny, he's not expecting that at all. And then, and then, and then, they go and join another agency and get back together. Side M, which is getting an anime, I'm so excited. Not that Hana cares, Hana doesn't do the male idols. <laughs> No, I don't do the male idols. Even if I wanted to f figure out playing side M and have you voice the guys for me? Oh my god, that'd be like the reverse of what we usually do. <laughs> I know, right? Actually, I'm pretty sure the producer in side M is male. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but Rio is in it, and there's one guy who who's... Who, who dresses up as a girl. I'm not sure if he's transgender or, or if, he's, if he's just a cross-dresser. I don't know. I only know what he looks like. Little did I know, if only I had chosen to remain at the office a little while longer, that fateful fax message would have found its way into my hands ahead of time. Instead, by the time I reported in for work the next morning, it was too late. The incident had already, had already developed into a full-blown emergency and whipped the office into a frenzy. <sighs> no fair that the girls get the day off and I'm the only one who has to come in for work. I shouldn't complain, though. What's it been, a year now? That's just the way it goes sometimes. Ah, producer son, thank goodness you're finally here! I was just about ready to call you up and go, where the hell are you? What? Did you, did, did you need to speak with me about something, Otanashi-san? From the sound of it, I take it something's happened? Stalker-san, I've missed you. You're not in the... You're not in theater days. <laughs> it's a new... It's a new secretary, and I don't know how I feel about her. Yes, something happened! It's an emergency! The president is already on his way to the press conference! You need to hurry over there yourself! Go on, shoo! Shoo! Ah! G keep your shoes on, Otanashi-san! Please, just calm down for a moment. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Calm? You expect What's me this to about? keep calm over this? I need to run out for a few minutes myself as, as it is! I don't have time to be calm! Don't worry about me. I'll be right back. Just please get over to the conference as quickly as you can. Ami-chan can give you the details. That. Uh, okay, then. What? What in hell's name is going on? 
Keep your shoes on, said no Hana ever. Nichon! Mommy! Mommy's! Ah! Mommy's... what? What happened? Ami, did something happen to your sister? Ami came to the office alone today, since only she had work. But when she did, she found out a note... What? She, she found, found out... She found a note from Mommy in the fax machine, and then all hell broke loose! A fax message from Mommy? Who the hell uses faxes in this day and age? No, a, a lot of business offices do still keep fax machines around, though. <laughs> Mine included. <clears throat> a fax message from Mommy? What was in it? It was a notice of a press conference announcing her retirement! What?! You mean... Mommy's quitting?! Apparently the same... Apparently, the same notice went out all over the media too! It looks like she's already got a conference hall and TV cameras and everything! I don't believe this. Where did this even come from? I'm racking my brain here, but I cannot remember her ever showing any signs of wanting to quit in recent memory. Mommy knows exactly why she's doing it, though. She probably just wanted to get a leg up on Ami again, so she thought if she pulled off something totally insane, she'd make a big enough impact to draw all the boys' attention. The uh, Come to think of it, wasn't Mommy muttering something along those lines to herself that one time after Ami got a boyfriend? I guess they really are twins. Even now, they can tell exactly what the other is thinking. <clears throat> Even still, Ami, this doesn't seem normal to me. This little back and forth between the two of you can't honestly be something worth giving up her entire idol career over, can it? I'm sorry, Nichon. It's all Ami's fault for lying to Mommy and telling her she got a boyfriend. What? What are you talking about now? You mean that was a lie? Because I'm telling you, that's just how much neither of us can stand losing to the other. <laughs> oh my god, you two. Guess I'm paying the price now for turning a blind eye to this for so long. I'm surprised my mother, who's across the hall, hasn't come in. Like, what the hell is going on in here? But it ends here. This has gone far enough. You're dead wrong if you think I'm just about... I'm about to just stand back and let Mommy quit over something like this. So please, don't cry anymore, Ami. Just standing here crying isn't going to resolve anything, you know? I know. Thank you, Nichon. Alright, now let's get over to that press conference. Now, if there's one question that's on all of our minds this morning, I, I believe it to be this. Why would you, the leader of an Idol Academy Grand Prix nominated unit, announce your retirement now, so close to the award ceremony? Damn it, it's already started! I guess the president couldn't make it in time either. Cameras and reporters everywhere. I can't rush the stage to stop the conference now without irreparably damaging the, the agency's public image. Is, there, is this something you discussed with the other members of your group? With your agency at large? Did they all agree that this was the best course of action? Is this it? Is this really how our term comes to an end? Not taking the Grand Prix, not going down having giving a, not going down having given our all against Jupiter, but at a retirement conference? Oh mommy. Also, there are rumors going around to the effect that the reason you've chosen to bow out now is related to a lack of confidence in your ability to overcome your rival unit, Jupiter. What do you have to say in response to that? Yeah, the way things were going, Jupiter probably had a pretty good chance of beating us in the end. At least, that's how it seems to Mommy. That's... that's why she's... quitting. Damn it! the dreaded words pass her lips. Mommy's... Mommy's decided to quit being Futami Mommy. And be reborn into the all-new Futami Mommy. That way we'll stand a chance. Woohoo! Wish us major luck, everybody! Huh? 
huh? Um, so what else? Oh, right. See you all at the Fireball Festival next week then. <laughs> bye bye. What? What the bloody hell just happened? Me, John. Oh my god, do you have any idea how much trouble you caused with your little stunt young lady? The president and I had to spend the whole day making apologies to who knows how many media outlets. And poor Otanashi-san was so exhausted from, from dealing with all those reporters, she went home early for once. Make sure you apologize to them too later, understand? Yeah, mommy will call Chickadee and everybody else and say sorry to all of them. Mm, Ani was really worried about you too, you know. Though it was kind of her fault for lying in the first place. You can't be blamed at all for today, Ami. This one's all on your sister. Seriously, Mommy, there's a limit on how far practical jokes can go until they stop being harmless. Uh, wasn't a practical joke, though. Mommy really did uh, feel like quitting at one point. Honest. After all... As soon as the Grand Prix was awarded, you're moving away to the Hollywoods, aren't you? And without you here to hold us together, the whole unit's gonna fall apart. You know? Without you here, we... I... So, so Mommy had a spare of the moment idea. She could quit now and just focus on getting her own boyfriend. That way everything would suck a whole lot less. Mommy. Because if, if goodbye is the only thing she has to look forward to, that totally sucks. It's too depressing to even think about. Mommy doesn't want that. <laughs> I see. So that's what was going through your mind. And if that's the case, I really don't have any right to be scolding her for it, do I? But then, I don't get it. If you really did feel like quitting, then why'd you suddenly decide to quit quitting in the middle of your speech? Well, that's because just before the conference, Mommy started imagining what it'd be like after she quit. And that ended up sucking most of all. It wouldn't matter how many boyfriends she had, the instant she tries to imagine not being an idol, life just stops being fun! So you changed your mind at the last second, and that's why it seemed like you had called a fake retirement conference. Mommy doesn't need a boyfriend or anything like that anymore! All she wants is to stay an idol forever and ever together with everyone! I don't even know what to say to Mommy anymore. But I have to try to decide on something. Well then, let's keep at it. Together. For as long as we can. Nichon. You're absolutely right, you know. It is possible that after the grand final's over and I have to leave, Ana Yoriyuta may very well just dissolve on its own. But even then... No, not even then. For that very reason, I want us to treasure the time we still have left together and make the most of it. And then, when we win the Grand Prix and carve our names into Idol Academy history, we'll always have something to look back upon. So that no matter how much time passes or how far apart we are, we will never forget that we were here and we were together, and we made an amazing team. Yeah, me too, Nichon. But when you say it like that, it'd be awesome to pull that off together with you and the girls. And with that, the latest in a long line of troublesome mommy capers finally came to a close. But complaining about it anymore won't help now. I should just let it go. Besides, it's not like nothing came of it in the end. Upon actually thinking about it at length, Mommy seems to have convinced herself that it'd be best to abandon the whole boyfriend thing. Maybe now she'll finally stay focused on the Grand Prix. <clears throat> oh.
Well, it was touch and go for a while, but it worked out for us in the end. <sighs> the girls took a cab back to the office after the grand final was over. I, on the other hand... I don't even know. What is this? My body feels hot. I can feel my pulse. Yet at the same time, in my mind, I feel at peace. Is there even a word to describe this feeling? Oh, neat! God damn it, I that. <laughs> Woo, great work, neat on stage clear! Ah! Where did you come from, Mommy? I thought you were on your way back with everyone else! <laughs> Should have been paying closer attention, Neat John. That wasn't Mommy who got into the car. It was Ami pretending to be Mommy. <clears throat> okay, so why did she feel compelled to do that? <sighs> Still as impossible to understand as ever, even now on our last day. Hmm, maybe you're the one who should have paid closer attention, Mommy. Ami didn't actually get in the car, either. Ah, 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 Ami! How did you even manage to fool your own twin sister? Oh, you are so going to get it. I can never tell if they're just having fun with each other, or... In any case, it, it's almost like they've completely forgotten everything that went on between them this past year. What I want to know is, how did you two even know where to look for me? <laughs> Didn't you know? Mommy has a built-in niche on radar specifically for these occasions. Are you sure it's not that you've really planted a tracking device on me or something? Sometimes I worry, because that sounds like something you'd actually try. But regardless, why did you come looking for me anyway? I, Im I imagine you'd be... I imagine you'd be a lot more pleased with yourselves right now if you just wanted to startle me with your car trick. What? Ah! Uh, holy crap, how did you know we should have just to startle you with our car trick? Now I'm jealous, Mommy. You really did pick up one clever Nichon. You are kidding me. That was seriously the only reason you came back? How much free time do you, do you two have? Please, please, please get a life already! you think of your favorite mommy? How could you think that of your favorite mommy, Nichan? Surely maybe Ami has way too much time on her hands, but mommy had a real reason, honest. Come on, think about it. Sure, mommy may be a little scamp, but would she really go that far, go so far as to troll you like that? Are you sure you want me to answer that question, mommy? Because even setting aside how much of a scamp you usually are, usually are, I think you would very much go that far, and enjoy every second of it. <sighs> the point is, the real reason Mommy didn't get in the car is because she remembered she had something she forgot to tell you. So, Nichon, Mommy knows she's been nothing but a big pain in the butt for you all year, but now, at the end of it all, she's come to realize something super important. Oh, really? And what, pray tell, would that be? Yeah, yeah, pray tell, Mommy, pray tell. So, Mommy started feeling pretty insecure about her relationship status when she got into middle school. Because that's when everybody starts hooking up, right? She really wanted to date at least one person, too, just to feel like she was worth something. But when you think about it, since when does Mommy know the first thing about dating? Thanks to that, trying to get a boyfriend turned out to be way less fun than she was expected. Huh, you have a point. Ami did feel like there was something off about our boyfriend challenge. It was always a lot less exciting than it should have been. Oh my god. I can only hope I'm never forced to bear... I can only hope I'm never forced to bear witness to what you girls would call genuinely exciting in that case. And anyway, are you sure everyone starts hooking up in middle school? Seems a little too young to be dating to me. Right, exactly. That's when Mommy finally understood. Uh, understood what? She doesn't need a boyfriend, not when she has her niche on. Making fun of him is a hundred times more fun than any relationship could ever be. Aw, Mommy, that's so sweet. You don't need a boyfriend when you have me. Wait, what did you say at the end that... <laughs> 
Oh, come on! What? I knew your Nichan was amazing, Aunt Mommy, but is he really that much fun? <laughs> Don't believe me? Nichan's fun stat is a whole bunch of levels higher than even the greatest slapstick comedian! No way! He's... he's really that high level? Yes, but that's not all. The all-new 20XX Nichon comes fully loaded with all the best features. Straight man, dopey dope, play along mode, you name it, he can do it! I am not happy about this. I'm sure in her mind she's heaping lavish praise upon me, but I cannot be even the slightest bit happy about it. That's unbelievable! If he's really that much fun, you have to let Oni borrow him, Mommy! What? No, you can't! He has to go away in a few days to make his big debut in the Hollywoods! That's right, just one more stop on my grand world tour! I'm gonna be the next big star of the silver screen! Wait, what? No, I'm freaking not! I'm a producer, and I'm only going to Hollywood to study to be a better producer! Get it through your head already! Whoa, holy crap, you weren't kidding, Mommy! He totally pulled the whole wait what routine for ya. I know, right? You're looking at the end result of a whole entire year of Mommy's careful management techniques. Excuse you! Since when was I the one who was being managed by you?! Please, please, please let me borrow him, Mommy! I promise I'll play with him real carefully. I probably won't break him or anything. No means no. God, Mommy's not going to get to play with him for a while either, you know. Show a little restraint. Girls! Knock it off and settle down already, both of you! It's rude to treat people like they're toys! Come on, pretty please. Just a little while should be fine, right? At least let me borrow him until he has to move away to the Hollywoods. <sighs> it's no use. They're not listening. I really am just a toy to them, and they have no cognition of me being alive. No! Nuh-uh! Ever! End of story. Ask all you want, but her Nichon's the one thing Mommy will never surrender to anybody! Not even you, Ami! Guess you have to change their hearts. <laughs> I wonder would they have, would they have a shared palace? <laughs> hmm. Only if they want the exact same thing. It's, uh, okay. You know, I always thought it would feel good to have two cute girls fighting over me like I'm the protagonist of some harem anime, but part of me just cannot get excited about it. Not like this. Technically, produce you are the protagonist of a harem anime. <laughs> but I only get one of them at a time. <laughs> not, a, not, not if it's the anime. <laughs> But still. <laughs> ah! Did you see that? Nichon just looked at us and grinned! I saw, I saw, he did, he did! Hmm? Well, yeah, I mean, I was just thinking how much Shami seems to be the one person around whom you can most naturally be yourself and just have fun, Mommy. Well, thank you very much, Captain Obvious! It's really hard to switch between their voices like that. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like the ridiculous year-long squabble over who could, get a, who could get a boyfriend first never even happened. For as long as I've known Mommy, even back when I first met her, the discord between her and her sister had already begun to sprout. But now... Now I'm getting to see them like how they were before, able to, joy each, able to enjoy each other's company even while arguing. <laughs> Especially while arguing. This is how things should be between them, I'm sure. And hopefully how they'll remain for many years to come. Hey, Nichon. If you really think Ami and Mommy are so much fun, you should hurry up and come back to a home to us as soon as you can. Yeah, yeah. We'll be right here, ready and waiting with a whole bunch of even more fun stuff for you. <laughs> I'll look forward to that day. And I promise I'll study as hard as I can to improve myself, so that I'll be able to show you girls more fun stuff on the job, too. Mommy will be majorly looking forward to that! Mommy, too! I'm not even your producer, Ami. 
you could be. <laughs> I can imagine what their vision of fun stuff entails. But kids will be kids, and it's probably not my place to push them into growing up. If nothing else, though, they've gone back to being the best friends they used to be. And in my mind, that demonstrates not a decrease in maturity, but an increase. Even if only the slightest bit. Hopefully, spending a year in Hollywood will help me get a little better at dealing with them more appropriately. <sighs> One year as a stranger in a strange land, with nothing to my name and nothing but the clothes on my back. And it's airport time. Let me go see if the girl is willing to come help us for a minute. Mm -hmm. She'll be here in just a minute. Okay. Okay. Ah! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I had to pull the headphones out so she can hear you. I only have one line. I know. Well, mommy is mommy short. Is short. she is. Hi, Kagami. Oh. Alright, Kayla, settle down. Alright, ready? Oh, right! I nearly forgot! Hey, Nichon, you said Ami and Mommy are at their most natural when they're together or something like that, right? So the two of us are planning on putting together a real super duper fun spectacular surprise for you. You absolutely have to survive long enough to see it. Promise. Uh, obviously I'm going to survive, God. But yes, I am looking forward to seeing you all again nonetheless. Hey! That's Yayu. Oh no, that is Yayu. Well, I thought that was Yukiho for a second. Go ahead. Hey! I see it! Thank you, Kagami. We have no to problem. figure out when you and Roxas are both available to do Yayo either out. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Yayoi is undergoing rewrite as we speak. Well, well, not as we speak, but you know what I mean. We know what you mean, darling. <sighs> I'm back. I made it! I'm finally home! Time to see Mommy and the girls! My study excursion in Hollywood has finally come to an end. I wonder what everyone has been up to this past year. I decided to forego keeping in touch with anyone from the agency, simply for the sake of focusing on my studies as much as possible. So I have absolutely no idea how the girls are doing right now, or if they're still working together at all. It'd be nice if they're still keeping up their activities, though. Or, 
rather before that, it'd be nice if they even remember me still. I had decided to test the waters by at least getting in touch with Otanashi-san and letting her know I'd be coming back today. But nobody showed up at the airport to greet me. It's a little disheartening. But then again, I don't know why I was expecting anything, given that I'm the one who made the decision not to stay in touch with anyone all year. Seriously, Ami, this wouldn't have happened if you'd been staying on top of things these past few days, like I told you. Ami was on top of things. It's not her fault all that sleepiness ambushed her out of nowhere last night and hit her with an all-out attack. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What? That bickering. That could only be... Mommy! Ami! Hi! Welcome back, Nijan! So you two did come to see me, and thank you! That means so much to me! I really thought nobody was going to show up at all! Uh, what? See you in? That's not what we came, what we came here for, Nijan! Oh. Well, okay then. Guess I can go back to moping now. Actually, I didn't even notice they had brought suitcases with them. Are you kidding me? They can't be about to... So, is anybody going to fill me in on what that luggage is for? You girls really... Are you about to go on a vacation? Now of all times? Yep, yep, we sure are. So, I was right. <sighs> Should have known it was just a coincidence. Not like I'm important to anybody around here or anything. Great. And after I so stupidly got all happy to see them here, now I'm just twice as miserable as before. But, like I keep saying, I did bring it upon myself. So, if you don't mind me asking, where are you two traveling to? As long as I'm here, I don't really mind seeing you off before I head back to the office, if you'd like. Though, of course, having to see them off right after seeing them again for the first time in a year is just too depressing. I should really stop trying so hard. Clearly they don't care one way or the other. Uh, you okay, Michon? You've been talking crazy this whole time. I mean, obviously you're coming with us. What? I don't even... Going with you where exactly? program already needs on to to the to hollywood what the hell are you girls talking about i literally just came back from hollywood why are you trying to send me back there again that that's not something you can decide on your own in the first place what but oh right i forgot um the president told us to give this letter to you he even called it a cute name, too. He, he called it Memorandum. I sincerely apologize for having to spring this on you immediately upon your return, but it has been decided that your next assignment is to travel to Hollywood once again. You see, the truth is both ami -kun and mami -kun secretly auditioned for a role in a major motion picture without my knowledge, and... Well, to everyone's great surprise, they both passed. And an opportunity for a Hollywood debut isn't exactly something they can easily turn down at this point, you see. And... What? But they don't speak English. <laughs> And so it was decided that our agency would do everything in its power to support the girls in their endeavor, including dispatching a well-acquainted associate whom I could trust to manage them on site. And I doubt that it needs to be stated that said associate is you. You need not worry about any red tape. We will handle all of that on our end. All you need to do is depart for Hollywood immediately and take the twins with you. I wish you good fortune. Keep fighting the good fight. Ah. Uh, uh. A Hollywood debut? Depart immediately? What? Whoa! Good to see a year in Hol the Hollywoods hasn't 
changed in Nichan, you can still do those hilarious over the top reactions. So that's what they've been up to while I've been away. Seeking out even greater heights themselves. I, I hope. But, uh, you might want to tone it down a bit and just go with the flow for now, don't you think, Nichan? We might miss our plane at this rate. What? Wait, wait, wait! When the hell is the flight? And, and aren't you two gonna get your bags checked in? And, and... Checked in? Uh, I don't know. You're the one who always took care of all the boring details before, so Mommy doesn't know how these things work. And then Nichon started talk taking care of that stuff for us after you left, but... Oh yeah, listen to this. She was complimenting you earlier. She was like... Oh my god, I am not your freaking babysitter. As soon as your precious producer gets back, he can deal with you too. That is not a compliment! That is not even in the same galaxy as a compliment! But... My god, to make even the legendarily long-suffering Beats go get fed up with you two? What the hell have you been doing to the poor girl? Nichon, where's the bathroom? Also, Ami's hungry. Oh. That. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Check in your bags first. Then we'll find a bathroom. Then we'll eat. And if you want to do all that and still have time to catch our flight, you need to move your butts, girls. Now. Ah, there it is. The voice of Nichan yelling at mommy to get her work done that she's longed for. <laughs> and now we finally get to be with him again. We girlies have been working real hard for this day, you know. We were auditioning for film after. To film after film all year, just so we could get to wherever you were. Took a little longer than we thought, but surprise! Take good care of us this year, Nick John. <laughs> I can't do it. Their voices are too similar, and it's really hard to go between the differences in their voices. Normally, <laughs> normally you wouldn't have to. I know, right? I didn't even have a single second to appreciate the fact that this wasn't another parting but a true reunion for us after all. My brain was too busy being flooded with visions of every kind of bullshit imaginable that I would have to go through from now on. Because as we all know, if you can imagine it, they can do it. It just never ends with these two. Another tumultuous year of being dragged every which way at the mercy of the Futami twins. So, why am I looking forward to it so much? <laughs>